People who live on this side of the fire, the east side, are taking this latest evacuation order very seriously. They saw what happened in paradise and they're not taking any chances. A convoy of evacuees wound its way down Highway 162, fleeing a threat of flames. Those who couldn't drive out simply walked. Melissa Mathias and a crowd of neighbors gathered on the outskirts of Oroville and wondered, now what? Trying to load up our trailer with as much stuff as we can and um, had to leave like more than 50% of everything that we have up there. Among them, a barnyard of animals. We got chickens and pigs and horses and everything, man, dogs. Matthew Masters didn't want to leave anyone behind, not his livestock. Hey, floppy -eared rabbit. And not Leo, his lop-eared bunny. Plan tonight? <laughs> I don't know. They're not sure where they'll sleep, maybe with friends or family who are closer to safety. Perhaps they'll just stay right here on the edge of uncertainty. I had a lot of time to be able to plan and grab a lot of stuff, so I'm really lucky, I'm really grateful, and um, we will never forget this day. Fire managers say there's no immediate threat to the city of Oroville, but they say that anyone who lives near the fire should pay very close attention to the evacuation orders, because as we saw today, those could change very quickly. In Oroville, Ted Land, ABC 10.